Hey everyone and welcome back to Dom Designs. Today we're testing out Adobe Illustrator's brand new turntable feature. This tool lets you rotate your flat 2D illustrations in a 3D space. And I thought it would be fun to try it out with some Super Mario inspired icons. I drew Yoshi's egg, a toad mushroom, and the classic bomb character. Let's see how well this feature performs. I started by sketching the three designs in Procreate on my iPad. I kept them super simple, just black and white outlines. Once done, I imported them straight into Adobe Illustrator to bring them to life. Inside Illustrator, I set up three layers, a reference layer, color, and outline layer. Then I went ahead and inked the outlines with a nice, thick stroke. Since this video isn't a full illustration tutorial, I'll fast forward through most of the vectorization, but here's a quick breakdown. Yoshi's Egg. I kept it as simple as possible. No shadows or highlights. I wanted to see how the turntable handled something flat. The Bomb Character. This one's more detailed, I added the outline, base colors, and some simple shadows. With its multiple shapes and angled view, it's the most complex of the three. The Mushroom. For this, I kept it front facing with just some light shadows. Nice and clean. Now for the fun part, the turntable test. With all three illustrations complete, I grouped them and brought them over into the Illustrator beta app. To access it, go to the top menu and select Window, scroll down and click on Properties. Here's where the turntables button show up. I selected the egg, hit the turntable button and after a few seconds, a slider appeared below. Moving the slider left and right, I could see the illustration rotate in 3D space. Pretty cool. The front looked great, though the back got a bit messy with a dotted pattern. Next up, the mushroom. And wow, this looked amazing. The illustrator did a surprisingly good job generating the side view. The back wasn't perfect, but that's expected, still very impressive. Finally, the bomb character. Honestly, I was shocked at how good this one looked, especially considering it was drawn at a 45 degree angle. With small, subtle turns, the rotation looks natural and believable. So what do I think of the turntable feature? Honestly, it's pretty awesome for the beta release. I wouldn't rely on it for a full 180 degree rotation, it struggles there, but for slight perspective shifts, it's super fun and useful. I'm excited to see how Adobe polishes it in the future updates. And that's it for today's test. I hope you enjoyed watching the experiment with these Mario inspired icons. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss more Illustrator tips, tricks, and flat design tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, everyone.